is ready to unbox the new Made to Move 2021 Barbies. I know I am, so in this video, I'm going to unbox the Barbies and give you my review of them. So let's get started. We're going to unbox the Barbies in the order that they are on the package. So on the very back of the package, you can see all four of the new wave and they each have a number. So this girl is GXF04, which is the basic smiling Millie face mold. And we're gonna start with her and then we'll just go through the various numbers. So let's get her out of the box. Gave myself a paper cut on the first Barbie. How dare you? How dare you? Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. You just have Barbie and then two photos of the doll in a pose. This doll is pretty much the basic Millie face mold and it seems like we get one of these in all the Made to Move lines. I did get all these dolls at Target online for $14.99. On Target, they are named after their pants. So this girl is named Pink Dye Pants. And I think that's a good way to identify them because previous Made to Move dolls have been named after their shirts. Because we already have a purple top, it would get a little confusing if we tried to name this doll line after their top. So I like that they're named after their pants. And she's just basically the basic Millie face mold. I think she's the same skin tone as the other Yoga Millie dolls, so there's not a lot new here. I guess you just have to have a Barbie in the collection. There are some variations. She's still blonde, but she's more platinum blonde. Her hair is styled up in a ponytail. It's really soft. It doesn't feel like it has any product in it. Her face is nicely printed. There's no... Well, there's a tiny bit of pixelation, but not a lot. And it's a little shiny, but I think it's misprinted. She's a perfectly gorgeous doll. And I feel that sometimes the Made to Move dolls, they just kind of slap the face paint on because they know a lot of collectors specifically are just rebodying them so the face doesn't really matter. But all of the girls that I got, their faces are pretty nicely printed. If you are unfamiliar with Made to Move dolls, they have 22 points of articulation and they are the most articulated Barbie that we have. So I'll just do a quick rundown of all the different ways that she can move. She can move at the head, at the arm, upper arm. She has two joints at the elbow. And then um, she can also move at the wrist, goes back and forth and it swivels. She also has movement at the torso and at the thigh, the upper thigh. Um, her knees are double jointed as well, and her foot twists and bends. So these dolls are extremely movable, very poseable, which is why so many people are obsessed with these dolls, including myself. Next up, we have GXF05, who is titled Green Dye Pants on Target. So let's open her up and not get a paper cut this time. front of the box is pretty much the same, same picture, same pose, same Barbie logo. She has the Nasa face mold, which is the new Teresa face mold. And when this face mold originally came out, it wasn't really my favorite. I thought it kind of looked basic, cheap, but as I started experimenting with the face paint and the skin tones with this doll and like the hairstyle she came with with the fashionistas, I actually like her more now, and she's not my favorite favorite, but I have a couple of her face molds still. The hair is tied down. And two staples in the back of the head. Oh, oh wow, she's really stapled in there, look at that. She has quite a bit of box hair. If you look at her, it's a little crazy. It'll need a boil wash, some combing but there's no product in it. It's very soft feeling. 
She has the same articulation. Um, I really like her face paint. I think it's very pretty. She does remind me a lot of Fashionista 112. She has the same face mold, the same eye paint, the same hair color, the ha same hairstyle. She's pretty much that doll, but on a made to move body. The next thing to kind of look at with these dolls is their clothing. So everybody is in yoga pants. There is no fasteners. They're just slip on, they're stretchy, elastic. Um, they're all tie dye and pastel. The shirts also do not have any Velcro fasteners. So they just slip over the head. Um, they have a printed mesh detail and an elastic strap right here, which I think is a cute detail. However, I did think from the promo pictures that the netting was actual fabric, not printed. If we're looking at her face paint, it's very smooth, very matte, not pixelated at all, and very good quality. Oh, one last thing about the green dye pants is her skin tone. It is one that we have seen before. It's pretty, just beige. I think it's like the blonde hiker skin tone. So it's not a new one. And that is just what it is. Now let's open GXF06. Her box is pretty much the same as well. The same picture, same pose, same logo. She has the June face mold. Her face paint is a little pixelated. It's a little more pixelated than the Millie's face mold, but it's not as bad as I've seen it and you could probably overlook it. Staples in the back of her head as well. Just brute force. And the pixelation is not very severe at all. Her name on Target was the purple dye pants. So we have a purple top, but now we have purple pants. And her top is a bit of a darker purple than the Millie face mold. She has tie dye pants with purple, blue, and light blue in them. Her face is very pretty. She has um, long brown hair styled in a side ponytail, and it doesn't feel like it has any product in it. Feels nicely rooted. She also has the original size made to move body. And this is a new skin tone for the yoga made to move dolls. So we haven't had a doll with her skin tone yet. I think she's a bit darker than the yellow top, but a bit lighter than the floral ponytail. I am curious to see which dolls she will match. Last, let's open up GXF07. She is a curvy type doll. Again, same packaging, same photos, different doll. She has the Chic and Chambray face mold, first seen on Fashionista 82. And this is actually one of my favorite face molds. So if any of the dolls end up keeping their actual heads, she is probably going to be it because this is one of my favorite face molds. I don't know what it is about it, but just it's so cheerful. And I know that I say I have a lot of favorite face molds, um, but I think my top three are this one, the Chic and Chambray, the Embili face mold, and the 2010 Skipper face mold. Those are my three top, top favorites. So when I say that she is my favorite face mold, I actually mean it for her. On Target, her name was the Orange Dye Pants. Even though, I don't really see orange in the pants. There's red, there's pink, there's yellow. But her name was Orange Dye Pants. Ooh, she has pretty stiff joints as well. And again, no product in her hair. It's very, it is kind of messy on the back. We'll need a boil wash, probably some trimming. That's just a random long piece of hair. She has a black headband on and she looks a little bit like a frog. I don't know, sometimes this face mold can look, can remind me of a frog a little bit, but I still love it. Is that weird? Um, she is curvy and she is a new yoga skin tone. I think she's going to be basically the same skin tone as the BMR Kira. And I'll do a video a little later to compare new skin tones. But we don't have a curvy in the skin tone yet. 
And, oh, look at her, her top Velcros. Huh. So I guess these tops, maybe they're a little tight and it wouldn't get over her head. But she's the only one who has a Velcro on her top. Hmm. But this brings us up to, I believe, four made to move curvy skin tones. Let me put her shirt back on. She's just chilling, shirt half off. For looking at her face paint, it is also very smooth, not misprinted at all, not pixelated. So this line, or the dolls that I got at least, it's really coming through with the face paint. Finally, the one thing that I wish was a little different for this line is the body types. So we have a new Kirby, and then we have three originals. And I wish that maybe one of these two dolls had been either a tall or a petite. It doesn't give us more options for rebodying, which is why I like Made to Move so much, the rebodying. And these are the four newest Made to Move dolls. I am going to make a video comparing their skin tones to existing Made to Move dolls, so keep an eye out for that, and thanks so much for watching. So on the back of the box, each one is in a slightly different order. You have the doll that you're getting as the first one, and then the rest of them they put in order by their numbers. But what's kind of interesting is if you look on the back of the boxes, even though the doll order changes, the pose stays in the same position. So this pose, And this pose stay the same, and it kind of goes that way across, which I thought was kind of cool, a nice touch. Plus, all the po all the big poses on the top are the same for each of the dolls. Doesn't mean anything. I just thought it was kind of cool.